Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? I uh, know it's been a hot minute. Uh, most of that is obviously due to me being back in school. But um, it should be all good now. In case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm currently on a little bit of a mini trip. Uh, I have a, it's my birthday weekend. It, my birthday is on Monday. So um, that's what I'm here for. Um, but I did get a new figure. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to record, and hopefully there's a little bit more reviews since, uh, you know, it's my birthday or whatever, but, no, here we go. So, I am going to review, um, the Marvel Legends Havoc. So, here's the box, you got the old style X-Men logo, there's Marvel's Havoc, and you got Havoc on the side, and you got Havoc on the other side, and you got the X logo on the back. And that's not the back, that's the top. Um, and then you've got a uh, bigger picture of Havoc on the back. All of these figures in the wave. I'm hoping to get Siren next. Um, and then uh, bio, it says, Alex Summers, a.k.a. Havoc, fires superheated plasma for his hands to, to devastate an effect. A veteran hero and leader, he launched a step out of his older brother sh Cyclops' shadow. Yeah, so I have now two out of the three Summers Brothers, and I don't have the most famous one. <laughs> I don't have Cyclops. I really don't. But, um, let's see here. <clears throat> do I need to move back? I think I do need you guys back. Here he is. Oh, you can barely see him here. That's unfortunate. That's like, hold on. I think I have a better idea. Maybe. Did that worked. Oh, that's so much better. Okay, here you go. So there he is. Um. So yeah, there he is. Uh, let's get his accessories out of the way. Uh, let's get the big one first. Uh, is this one, which just pegs into the back. I really like this, like circle effect. It's really nice and really cool. Kind of emphasizes his power a bit. And it's just, you know, plugged onto the back. And you can, you know, you can turn it whatever way you want. You know, if you want it like that. Or if you want it like this, poking out the side or going on top, you know. You know, whatever you want. And then, um, Before I put the other hand in, because I do want to demonstrate how to put these effects on. So, and then uh, your these two pieces, I think are they the same piece. Um, no, they're not. I think they're. Are they both different? Hold on. I think they're mostly both different. Yeah, they're both different. But, so, uh, what you do, now these aren't as, um, these aren't as stable as, um, a lot of effects are, um, you know, like the older effects that Marvel Legends had, where you just, they kind of, like, held on to the hands. Um, they work, they're not bad, but they do kind of just hang there, so you can't really get them in a, you suppose, but what you do... So you like put them on there like that and then go like that so yeah like you know it'll probably just like hang like that yeah because it, it won't you know I don't know if you could yeah you can't really even turn it so I guess like if you move it forward a bit it might help but not too much so that's how it works, but I, I'm personally fine with it. That's like a, you know, honestly, at least he comes with effects. His brother did not. Um, so that was one of my only complaints about his brother. But let's get on to this figure. Now, honestly, oh, wait. There is one other, well, two other accessories, but these are for the build figure uh, These actually have a bit of weight to them, but these are it's oil drums or gasoline drums for uh, the build figure which is... Um, his name bone breaker so 
Um, so yeah, let's take a look at it. So the newest thing on here is the head. Uh, this kind of is like classic look, but from more recent comics, because there are a lot of times where in recent comics they bring back really old looks, but they modernize them to not make them look so, I guess in a most respectful way, like wacky or whatever. Um, obviously, this still looks like wacky, like, but like you also are like this is a superhero makes sense. So, um, but yeah, so you know they did these uh, these three bands here, and his head sculpts were done really nicely. Don't know how well you can see that on here, but it's done fairly nicely. I mean, you got some detail in there, and then the only other paint really here on his body is this uh, uh this paint here and that glowing is actually the paint they like did like a faded look and that looks really cool to me uh other than that it's mostly just the like uh the spider-man 2099 uh body mold um i mean it's good it's a good body mold and it's not like you need too much with this suit like even if i were to look on the back of this like, do you really see much else that you need to do there? I mean, maybe sure you could give him extra hands or something, but I don't think, like, his suit needed much more. Now, if you're going to get one of the other suits that he's had over the years, yeah, sure, but, you know, it's a pretty basic body book. Um, and uh, on a side note real quick here, I apologize for not doing comparisons in this video. Uh, obviously, I'm not home, so I can't just go grab a figure to go and compare this guy to. I would love to compare him to Polaris, though she doesn't really have great ability to stand. So, but I do apologize for that. You won't see any comparisons in this video. But, you know, hopefully you enjoy the review nonetheless. So, let's get into his articulation, though. His head can look all the way up. It can look all the way down. It looks side to side. It's got a little bit of tilt. The arms go out. They go that far back. And that far forward. He's got a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel and a hint that goes in and out. His ab crunch goes that far forward, that far back. He can kick out that far forward. Oh wait, he's got a waist swivel. Um, it can it can kick that far back, and then uh, he's got a thigh swivel, double jointed knees calf swivel and his ankles go down far they go up that far and he's got ankle pivot so yeah um now this isn't the one of the bodies that have the pinless elbows and knees but since it's an all black body i can forgive it um you probably don't notice it too much anyways unless you're a real stickler for that but I just like good figures. Um, so that's what I'm here for. And yeah, um, other than that, I wish there was a way to have an effect piece come out of here. I guess if you had some sticky tack, you could do like this. I don't know how well if you wanna do that, or you know, you wanna get more extreme, you know, do that, but um, but yeah, uh, otherwise I think this is a pretty good character. Havoc is one of my favorite X-Men. Um, I'm glad I finally have him. Uh, so yeah. I'm just gonna get him all set up here as I talk. Um, hoping to get Siren next. Um. I will say that this X-Men wave, although I only have two figures so far, has been excellent so far. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think 
like the old style that they're going with for X-Men, you know, especially now that uh, Marvel Studios can now make X-Men stuff um, whenever they so wish. Hopefully get that. I am hoping to put the uh, the new Moon Knight figure on pre-order soon, so that way I can uh, get him and review him for you guys. Um, I've never had a Moon Knight figure. Uh, I wish I... I mean, like, I kind of wish I had gotten one of the previous ones, but at the same time, you know, that means I would have gotten this, uh, this more MCU version. Let's see if I can get him standing for you guys. Yeah. Oh, he's leaning a bit far back. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we'll see what happens next. I don't, I don't really have, I don't plan these videos. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. If you liked it, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.